Hi, this is Linda. I have another really simple, easy recipe I'm gonna make for dinner tonight using my Instant Pot. You can use this, you know, like in a crock pot or something, but it's gonna take longer. Uh, but you can even take the recipe and kind of figure out how to bake with it. But if you have an Instant Pot, this saves a lot of time. That's why I love my Instant Pot. So what I'm gonna make is stuffed cabbage rolls. From what I can tell, they're only gonna be like zero points each. Because I've really tweaked the recipe but they're going to be really good and so you can fill up on these okay and what I'm going to be using just over the ingredients real quick and I'll have this in my recipe which uh, is always located uh, under the description in the video when you click on the little upside down arrow you could it'll expand and you can see the recipe but you can't print it from uh, YouTube so you can go to my website, which I will include a link to that, and I have all my recipes in PDF, so you can go to them and you can print them out, and then you can have it in front of you, and you can, so much easier. So here we go. I'm gonna be uh, using uh, one pound of extra lean ground turkey breast. This is 99% fat free, zero points. Cabbage, of course an onion, some cauliflower rice instead of regular rice, zero points. And then I'm going to be adding a little bit of salt and pepper, an egg, and some garlic. And then for the sauce, I'm going to be using um, uh, crushed, this is crushed Italian recipe tomatoes with oregano, basil, and rich puree. So that's going to make our sauce, which is zero points. I'm going to get started. Be right back. Okay, I'm going to start cooking the cabbage. Uh, I'm going to put it in my Instant Pot. One little trick I learned that um, is if you, um, <clears throat> to heat your Instant Pot up faster, so it'll, you know, go to uh, the steam quicker to, to heat the elements up, turn it on saute when you first get it on. Like, I, I don't have anything right now in here, but I've got it all saute and I can feel the heat coming from it. So while you're adding your ingredients, put it on saute. This way it starts to heat everything up. I'm going to put two cups of water because you need a little extra water in here and um, you want to put a trivet. I, I love this little sling one I have because then I can put it down there and when I go to pull stuff off I can pull it right out. I also have like a basket one. Uh, let me go get my basket one and we'll see which one fits better. Okay I've got my little basket out. It's a little trivet on the bottom. It's a basket so it's easy to pull in and out. I think I might use this instead. I have the eight quart Instant Pot, uh, which is great because it, I don't know if you could fit this one in a six, six, you might, you just might need to buy a smaller head of cabbage. I bought a bigger one because we have any leftover. I cut, I will chop it up and uh, cook it because my husband loves cooked cabbage and um, zero points, so why not? Okay, I'm gonna put it here in the basket. Perfect. So I'm gonna use the basket instead of the trivet go right in here there's already steam coming from here because I've had this on saute so now I'm going to cancel turn it off the of saute I'm going to put the lid on it sometimes I get a little crazy doing this backwards so let's see turn it this way the lid on put it on full pressure here and then I'm going to set it for um, I, let me check again on a couple recipes I checked to make sure the size Okay, the recipe that I was looking at, it says on high pressure from five to eight minutes. Since this is a large um, uh, head of cabbage, I'm going to go ahead and go for the eight. Now, it will take a little bit of time to build up steam, but um, no problem. So I'm going to set this for eight minutes. I'm going to go to manual. Uh, if you have a newer one, I don't think you have manual. I'm not quite sure, but anyway, so you go to manual. I really want to set your time on yours. I'm going to go to eight. Now I'm just going to leave it alone. It's going to kick on and then when it's done, I'll do it on a quick release and carefully remove it and let it cool so I can pull the little leaves off. While it's cooking, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to work on uh, putting the filling together and the, uh, instead of rice, uh, I'm going to use cauliflower rice, which is zero. I get these bags at Costco. You get, get a bunch of them and you can cook it right in the bag, five minutes. So I'm going to cook this uh, right now because I want to squeeze some of the water out of it so it's not too watery when I put it with the uh, ground turkey. 
So let me put this in the microwave and then I'll start working on the uh, ground turkey filling. Okay, I've got the cabbage in the Instant Pot steaming up over here. I'm going to go ahead and chop up an onion. And so, um, I like gadgets. I'm sure you can tell by now on my other videos. I do have my food processor that I use when I'm doing all my prep. But I don't have any onions cut up right now, so I'm going to use my little quick little gadget that I had. And I'm going to chop up one onion, and it's going to go into this bowl that I'm going to put um, the ground turkey in and the spices, everything except for the tomato sauce. And so I cut these up in little pieces like this to put on here. I'll show you how I do one and then I'm not gonna do any more because I don't wanna annoy you here with the sound, but, and I just give it a good hit and there. And I just keep doing that. I cooked uh, the cauliflower rice. What I did was I uh, cooked it in the bag, cut the bag open. I put it in a, a little a strainer because there's water in with it and I don't want all the extra extra water in this recipe. I put a couple paper towels down inside the strainer and then I put the cauliflower rice in it and then I drained it over my sink. I just pushed it down until all the liquid came out and this will make it so much easier. I'm going to put this right in the bowl so it can start to cool down a little bit because I'm going to be adding the um, turkey and everything else with it and it's pretty hot right now. It looks just like rice. It was so cool. So I'm going to finish chopping up this onion and put this together. I decided I don't want them diced. I think I want them a little bit finer, the onions, uh, to go in with the uh, filling because I don't want it too lumpy, you know. So I'm going to put it in my food processor and, and I'm going to chop these down a little bit finer. Okay, this looks a lot better. I did about, oh, three four quarters of a cup of the diced up onions. I put them in my food processor. Now they look more like the cauliflower rice. <clears throat> so it'll make it easier when I go to roll the cabbage rolls up with all of this together. I saved, um, oh, about a half a cup to three quarters of a cup of, rye, of uh, onion left that is already, you know, diced to put in with the sauce when I, uh, on top of the sauce, because I do like a little bit of chunky um, onion in it. Boy, this is a good onion. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm just mixing that in with this. Next thing I'm gonna do is, I'm going to add, well, I need to add my turkey, but I'm gonna go wash my hands, I'll be right back. Okay, now I'm gonna add the rest of the ingredients, got my hands all washed because I'm gonna get my fingers in here. Kind of therapy too. I like mixing stuff like this. So here's my lean ground turkey breast. I'm going to put it in here with this. I'm going to go ahead and add my spices now. I'm going to add one teaspoon of salt. You can add more later if you want, which I, I might. So we'll see. Teaspoon, uh, not teaspoon, I mean these are half teaspoons of pepper. I have one tablespoon of garlic, of minced garlic, because we love garlic. You can put more garlic in if you want. If you don't want garlic, you don't have to, but it uh, makes it real flavorful. And then I'm also, we like a little bit of heat with our food, <laughs> as you can tell from my other videos. So I'm going to put a half a teaspoon of uh, ground red peppers in with this, and I'll probably put a little bit in with the sauce too. Because then, when we bite into it, my husband will be like, whoa, this is hot. And we're like, ooh, yeah, but this is good. So, that's optional, of course. And then I'm going to beat a little, one egg. I'm gonna, and then put it in here. And then I'm going to mix all of this together. Be right back. Okay, I have the filling all together now, the cauliflower rice, along with a pound of the ground turkey breast, salt, pepper, and a little bit of um, uh, ground red pepper flakes, and some garlic. I think I got everything in here. Uh, it, this is all ready to go. My Instant Pot just went off, so I'm going to uh, do a quick release, then I'm going to take it out and let it cool down a little because I don't want to be pulling those leaves off right now because that's hot. 
and then I'll be back and I'll put this all together in the next stage. Okay, I carefully lifted this out. It was nice. This um, strainer basket has a little rubber handle, so it makes it easy. Pulled it right out. So I'm going to let <clears throat> the cabbage cool really good. Now I'm going to take the, I turned this off of course, the Instant Pot. I'm going to take the water out and dump the water. Okay, keeping it real. One of the things that just happened was I showed in the last video, if I do include it, we'll see. Anyway, I cooked um, a big head of cabbage and according to a recipe that I was reading that I tweaked, they said to cook it six to eight minutes on the Instant Pot. I thought that sounded like a lot. Uh, when I was looking on my little um, cheat thing I have here, my little book that I just love, that I stick on some refrigerator, it says three minutes. So I thought, hmm. So it turned out that most of the cabbage was soggy. I was only able to get a few pieces out of it. So I ran to the store real quick and I bought another head of cabbage. Just cooked it in the Instant Pot for two minutes. All I want to do is soften it up enough. This is going to be perfect. So now I'm going to let this chill, then I'm going to get back to the recipe. Okay, while my cabbage is chilling, cooling down so I can touch it, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take this large can of um, crushed Italian recipe tomatoes with oregano, basil, and rich puree. Make sure you scan any of these because one of them I found I thought was going to be uh, low points was one point. This was only zero points per serving. So. Um, all adds up, especially when you're putting a lot in there. So this is one large can. I'm trying to see how many ounces it is on here. It is, um, looks like it says 20 ounces. Yeah, one pound, 12 ounces. So 20 ounces. And then I'm going to add a little bit, uh, like a half a teaspoon of red pepper to kick it up a notch, get a little bit of heat that we like. Okay, this is the second head of cabbage. I cooked it in the Instant Pot for two minutes. Actually, I think one minute would have been enough. You just want it to, where it'll soften up the lettuce. <laughs> I keep saying lettuce, I mean cabbage. So you can roll them. So I'm gonna pull these off and I'm gonna start filling them. I just wanna show you how easy they come off. I was pulling these off and I thought, wow, putting them in the um, Instant Pot for like, it says two minutes, one minute, probably be fine so much easier. They just come right off. The last one's just kind of shredded off. I've got my Instant Pot on saute right now, just heating up uh, some water I put in the bottom of it. Because I'm going to add just a little bit of water because we're going to have a bunch of sauce in there. But we still need a little bit of water for the steam. So these are coming right off. Okay, I'm going to start rolling them up now. I'm going to take a big piece here. It's a nice big size. You want to put it at the little membrane down and if it kind of bunches up at the end just cut a little bit of that off makes it easier for rolling up now i'm going to take a uh, ice cream scooper and i'm going to scoop a scoop of of the turkey mixture kind of spread it out a little bit like that and then i'm going to roll up the sides and i'm going to roll it up like this i'm going to do a whole bunch of these Okay, I have the cabbage rolls all rolled up. You see, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I've got a dozen from big sizes down to a little one. I'm gonna put them <clears throat> now into the pressure cooker. I put a little bit of water on the bottom. I've had this on saute, so I'm gonna turn it off as saute now. This, that was just to heat the element up to get it going. And now I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna put a little bit, <clears throat> a little bit of sauce. Um, I've got the basket thing here, and uh, it's going to cook down. This, you know, I know it's going to go through there a little bit, but that's okay. And I kind of put it all around the bottom. Now I'm going to put, take my cabbage rolls and carefully put them down. I'm going to put one. I'm going to do it kind of like lasagna. I'm going to put the bigger ones down first, and then I'm going to put sauce on it, and then I'm going to. Put a little bit of onions and then I'm going to layer it with some sauce again. Okay, I've got one, two, three, four down there. 
I'm going to put some sauce on top of each one. Real generous here. Amounts of sauce. It smells so good already and I don't even have this cooking. My husband's going to be home any minute. It's going to be like, ooh, it smells good in here. What's cooking? And when I tell him I made cabbage, he is going to be in seventh heaven. Here's some of the chopped up diced onions I had from earlier. I'm going to put a little bit of that on top. And then I'm going to do another layer. Okay, everything is in here. Getting ready to turn the Instant Pot on. I'm going to turn it to manual. And then I'm going to cook it for 10 minutes. One recipe said 18, and that's the same ones that said to cook this. The cabbage for eight, that was crazy. So other ones that I saw said seven to 10, so I'm gonna do 10 minutes. And while this is cooking, I'm gonna clean up. That's what's so good about having um, Instant Pot. You can clean up stuff while this is cooking and get a salad ready. We'll have our dinner all ready. My husband's gonna be home anytime. Okay, it's all finished. And here's what it looks like when they're done. Wish you could get a little bit close up. Uh, I sampled one already. They taste real good and that little extra uh, pepper I put in it, uh, red pepper, really gave it a kick, which I like. The only thing is I wish it had more sauce. Looks like a lot of the sauce drained down into the bottom of the Instant Pot, which is kind of what I thought would happen. So I think next time when I go to cook it, I'm going to uh, keep back like half of the sauce to put on top. But that's why I always keep things that also in my pantry. So I have some of this, um, this is sugar-free. Um, uh, spaghetti sauce or low sugar. Let me check just one second. Okay, so back to this. I'm thinking of going ahead and just adding a little bit of this Prego no sugar added traditional um, uh, marinara sauce on top in case we want more sauce. Um, they look fine with me for me, but maybe you might want a little bit more sauce. So I heated up some. It's only two points for a half of a cup, so you could put a generous amount on you know, by spooning it on and it'll still be low in points. Next time, put the sauce on top afterwards or most of it. And here's to another good dish. I hope you enjoy. If you do, please share my channel with others. And I would just like to bless other people and hope this recipe blesses you. And you can find the recipe on my webpage. I will post the uh, link to it where you can go and find all my recipes in PDF and be able to print it out. You have a wonderful and a blessed day. Thank you. Bye.